What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Michael, and today we're going to be ranking every starter Pokemon based on their type. So who is my favorite grass, all the way to which one I hate the most, which one's my favorite fire, and which one is my favorite water. So let's go ahead and talk about them. Uh, we're going to start with grass, obviously. Up first, we have the OG Bulbasaur. Now, I love me some Bulbasaur. I really do. This thing might be easier now that I'm thinking about it. Which is my favorite starter? That might be it. Which is my favorite grass type starter? And if your boy had to be 100% honest, I gotta go with uh, the uh, Turtwig, for real. I gotta go with Turtwig as my absolute favorite grass type starter. I'm just gonna put Bulbasaur here as a placeholder. Um, but yeah, I think Turtwig is my favorite grass type starter. Um, moving on, who's my second favorite? Probably gonna be your boy Trico. For sure. Loved me some playthroughs with Trico. Uh, I picked Trico first for my Gen 3 run. Um, for sure. So, gotta give it to, to the Trico there. Third is probably gonna be Bulbasaur, for sure. Um definitely obviously i've played kanto beating the brakes off of pokemon red blue yellow um fire red leaf green let's go pikachu let's go eevee um love me some bulbasaur um i know i kind of jumped over a little bit we'll talk about turtwig a little bit why i love him so much and why i think he's my favorite um gen 4 was when i really started understanding fully how to play pokemon and i just thought it was really cool uh, he turned into, like, a gigantic land tortoise that, uh, you know, walked around, had, like, a mountain and a tree on his back. I thought that was really, really sweet. Um, so, absolutely one of my at most favorite Pokemon, for sure, um, when it comes to a grass-type starter, of course. Um, Trico, now, I love Trico. Leaf Blade, I thought Leaf Blade was his coolest freaking move. Um, I didn't like Grovile that much, for sure. But, uh, Sceptile. Sceptile's sweet, for sure. Um, got even cooler when he, um, Mega Evolves into Mega Sceptile with that Grass Dragon type. That's pretty cool. Um, Bulbasaur, just an OG. Like I said, I've played a lot of, uh, a lot of Gen 1 games. So, playing with Bulbasaur, he's actually the easiest one to run through the games with, so, to be honest with you. Uh, who is my number four spot? I gotta give it to my boy Rowlet, grass flying type, super cool. Um, not a big fan of Brixen, but uh, Decidueye is freaking amazing, so, love that. Um, yeah, Rowlet definitely... Definitely lands that spot. Um, I gotta give it to um, Snivy right here. Um, Snivy's definitely gonna stay where it's at. It's in a good spot for me. Um, Superior is super amazing competitively. If you guys have never tried a Superior and competitive, you don't know what you're missing. Um, super fun Pokemon. Obviously, the last format, you're not playing it right now as of Sword and Shield, but uh, super cool. Up next, I gotta give it to Chikorita, I think, over the Chespin. Um, just because I have played with Chikorita, and I have enjoyed it. Um, Meganium is super adorable. Bayleaf in the anime was amazing. Uh, Chikorita is just a fun Pokemon. It has a lot of memories for me, especially throughout the anime, so that's why it lands above the other two. Um... Chespin and Grookey, which one is, which one is gonna take seven? Which one of these two is gonna take seven? I I gotta give it to probably Grookey, probably Grookey. Not gonna lie, I think Grookey's gonna land in that spot. Um, Grookey's a really cool Pokemon. I love the uh, the monkey. I love the uh, design. I love the the drum, I love everything about Grookey, um, over Chessman, um, but yeah, so, I have not played through Pokemon Sword Shield with Grookey yet, not gonna lie, but 
he is a really cool Pokemon. Uh, Chespin. Chespin's alright. Uh, the reason he's lower on the list is because... I don't know. I battled Chessman a couple times. I just don't like him. I just don't like battling, Ches battling Chessnot and uh, Chessman. I actually don't think I've ever gotten to use a Chessman in a X and Y playthrough. So that may be why I, my dislike for him is so low. But, uh, yeah. I think Chessman's in a good spot right there at 8. All right, moving on to the fire types. Well, look who landed right there. Call me a Gen 1 or call me whatever you want. But Charmander is where he is supposed to be. Um, love me some Charmander. Absolutely do. Um, absolutely do. Uh, when you were a kid, you're going to tell me right now that you picked Bulbasaur? I doubt it. You might have picked Squirtle, maybe. But uh, I'll, me and uh, most of my friends growing up were all like, man, I'm picking Charmander because a dragon is so cool. Um, some pick Blastoise. I had a couple friends that pick Blastoise. Uh, obviously, gigantic cannon turtle. But um, the majority picked Charmander, and I got the game like in the middle. Some of my friends were already like two or three badges in before I even got the game. So when I got it, it was pretty cool. So obviously, snagged me up a Charmander and uh, got wrecked by Brock. But story for a different day. So. That is why Charmander is landing right here on the list for number one favorite starter um, in the fire region. So we're going to go over to little Chimchar here. Or, psh, Chimchar. Uh, Cinequil. Um, Cinequil, where he's supposed to be. I am going to say... I got it. Yeah, absolutely. Cinequil is where Cinequil is supposed to be. Um, Typhlosion. Super cool. I picked Typhlosion, um, or, sorry, Cinequil, second most, obviously, um, out of the three starter choices for Gen 2, but, uh, Typh, uh, jeez. Cinequil, for me, just thinking about him, uh, Quilava, really cool Pokemon, really cool Typhlosion, super cool, um, but let me think here. What? Why is he two above the other ones? I'm trying to figure that out in my head. Is it just because of the memories I had playing with Cynical? It's got to be. That's it. That's why. I'm looking at these other ones and I'm trying to think who else could fit in number two. But I don't really think any of them could. So I think Cynical is going to stay right there. Looking over at Torchic, I did pick Torchic. Honestly, I will say this. I played Gen 3 more than I played... Gen 1, actually that's a lie. I played Gen 1 more than I did the others, but um, I played Gen 3 a lot, a lot, a lot. And I picked Trico a lot, and I picked Torchic a lot, and I picked Mudkip a whole lot. So, huh, does Torchic belong in spot number 3? I think Torchic definitely does. Torchic belongs in spot number 3. Um, huh. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely like Torchic more than I like Chimchar. Definitely more than Tepig. Definitely more than Finnegan. Definitely more than Linton. And definitely more than Score Bunny. Um, so, yeah, going to stay right there. Uh, for uh, Chimchar, does Chimchar belong there? Um, does he belong there? I think he does. Uh, Chimchar definitely belongs there, too. Um, right there in the four spot. I know this one might not be as exciting as the grass type, but they're just landing in pretty good order for me. Um, I love Infernape. I love a lot about Chimchar's line, honestly. Um, moving on to Gen 5. Looking at the uh, Tepig here. Tepig is... I did play... I played Gen 5 with Tepig, and I played it with Oshawa and... Um, and Snivy, but hmm, hmm, hmm. Tepig, I think Litten. I think I like Litten more than I like Tepig, though. I'm gonna put Litten right there. Um, Litten's cool little fire cat. Litten shiny is awesome. Obviously, it was one of the ones that was they were able to design. Uh, Litten, Finnegan, and Squirrel Bunny. 
was not designed by an algorithm, but an actual person. So, um, I like Incineroar. Um, Litten's good. Litten is good where it's at. Uh, up next would probably be Finnegan, for sure. Um, just because... Just because I really enjoy Finnegan Shiny. And I have... I, psychic fire types are really unique typing. I thought that was really cool. Um, what else? That's got to be it. Uh, Tepig is going to take the number 7 spot for me. And Score Bunny is going to take number 8 just because I have yet to get a plant chance to play Janate with Score Bunny. I think that's why Score Bunny is there. So, But I, I tell you what, though. When these G-Max comes out, these uh, these G-Max... Um, and center race comes out, that's going to be awesome. So, score money might move up if I get a chance to play through Sword and Shield with him. Going on to number three, we're going to have a lot of moving around here. Up first is Totodile for sure. Um, I really enjoy me some Totodile. Definitely do. Um, I'm from Florida. We have a lot of alligators here. Uh, whenever I seen for alligator for the first time, I was super in love. And I thought that was the absolute coolest Pokemon I had ever seen. So, definitely, Total Out definitely takes the cake for the best water starter for me. Up next is probably going to be Squirtle. Um, love me some Squirtle. Love Blastoise. Made a really awesome UU team with a Mega Blastoise at one time. So, I thought that was really cool. Um, obviously, back in the Sun and Moon days. But, um, yeah, the uh, Squirtle's there. Number three, whew, I'm moving Sobble right to number three. Just because I have played Sword and Shield with Sobble, and I did a Nuzlocke fresh out the gate of Sword, and I picked Sobble, and me and Italian went the whole way together um, not a huge fan of the second stage of Sobble. Obviously, a lot of these Pokemon, their second stage is a little weird. And I might do another one ranking the second stage starters. But, that's a video for another time. Um, huh. Yeah, I gotta say, Inteleon takes number three. Number four is gonna be taken by... Hmm, number four is gonna be taken by probably Mudkip. Uh, obviously, love me some Swampert. Love me everything about the uh, Mudkip line. Uh, Mega Swampert, awesome as well. Um, up next is going to be probably Froakie. Um, love me some Shiny Froakie. Uh, I love Ash Greninja. Greninja is a really awesome Pokemon. Protein Greninja. Um, who doesn't know about that? Um, had a lot of fun with that. So, there is that. Up next is probably going to be Oshawott. Um, I played with all three of them in black and white, like I said. Oshawott, I like Oshawott. I don't like Samurott, but Oshawott's cool. Um, and so is Samurott, or not Samurott, Oshawott and uh, Duot. Yeah, Duot is pretty cool. Um, up next is definitely going to be Piplup. Um, I didn't play. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, I like Empoleon. Piplup's not really up there for me. Empoleon's up there, though. Really dig Empoleon. Um, and then obviously the, uh, little seal over here. Um, no, absolutely not. Really dislike the seal. I don't know what it is. It's not that it's a feminine looking Pokemon, just, but just because I just never really liked it. Water fairy is pretty cool, I guess, but it just wasn't my thing. So, yeah, there we have it, guys. This is all my starter Pokemon as far as grass, fire, and water go. Um, Turtwig, Charmander, Totodile. That is my main squeeze team right there. Um, now that Pokemon Go battles come out, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll run that team in the little competitive bit that they're doing and have some fun. But who knows? So with that, though, guys, I'm going to get the heck out of here. I have been the Phantom Michael. Thank you guys so much for watching. But with that, I will see you guys in the next one.